So we're standing here in front of the mausoleum of Ferdowsi, one of the greatest poets that Persia has ever produced. This draws over one million tourists per year just to come here and pay their respects. And lots of locals come here very regularly just to see here, absorb the peace of the atmosphere and pay their respects to the great man. This mausoleum has been built around 80 years ago by a very famous architect of Iran, Hushang Sehun. And it's fully made of marble and it's in three different levels. Yes, the first level is the steps all around here, the way up to here. And they're important because it shows the sort of path that a, a person should take while paying their respects. They have to pass all the way around it, which means they get to read all of the poetry that's on the lower level here. The level above that is the plinth. The plinth is the block in the middle here, and it again has more poetry inscribed upon it. On top of that is the block-like edifice with all the columns above it. If you are familiar with Iranian ancient architecture, you can easily see the connection between this mausoleum and the old and ancient uh, architects of Iran, which has been done in Achmenian time. This mausoleum has been built based upon the Pasargat, where the Cyrus the Great's uh, resting place is there. The connection with ancient Persian culture is clear in the architecture and it's also clear in the works of Ferdowsi himself who was very interested and in saving the Persian culture from being infiltrated by foreign sources. And that is the connection because he was very nationalist and that was in him so his grave also is about very Persian and it's very original. Yes, underneath here is where he has buried himself. You can go down the sides and when you go down there, there's carvings which show some of the stories from Shahnameh or the Book of Kings, stories which still resonate to this day with the Persian public. Down there, his, his slab is made of marble with an inscription bearing his name, his date and place of birth, and also a little bit about him. So visitors, after coming here and showing their respects to the mausoleum, they can go down and see his tomb and at the same time the ambience there it's in a way that you feel you're you're in the middle of the stories of Shahnameh so you feel that uh, instruction. Yes absolutely the, the stories have become such an important part of Persian culture to, and, and remain that way to this day. Inside here is a, a, a suitable resting place, a peaceful place. We mentioned that it's been constructed about 80 years ago, but in fact this location has been the site of his grave ever since. The city of Tus, as it was for many hundreds of years, stood and was great. Alexander the Great came here and conquered it. And then, much later, unfortunately, the Mongol invasion destroyed much of Tus. So what you see now it is renovated a couple of times and what you see as a final one has been done around 80 years ago. So we're going to go have a look inside. Come with us as we show you around this beautiful monument to one of Iran's greatest poets. Join us. خداوند جان و خرد که از این برتر اندیشه بر نگذارد خداوند کیهان و گردان سپه فروزنده ماه و ناهید و مهر so basically in the old Persian books there was an intro always the, the beginning of the book was in admiration of the God uh -huh. so it's so sort of giving is... the qualities of God yes praising it dedicating the book exactly exactly so this is how Ferdowsi started his book Shahnameh which says, in the name of the God, who is the owner of the soul and the wisdom. It cannot be anything wiser than this. 
the God who is the owner of the world and the planet and who is giving uh, light to all the planets. And he uses the, the old Persian word for God, Khoda. Khoda, mm. yes. And it's talking about the names of the God and how great he was and how you cannot start anything without his name. And then he goes toward the start, beginning of his chapter of the book about talking about the country at that time, about the Pahlavans, the concept of Pahlavans, and the country. It's very beautiful, I and mean, even, even just with the script and the, the way in which it's been put together, you can just see that there's a simplicity and a beauty to it. Yes, and the poem itself, you know, it's beautiful, it's simple, it's understood by all the Iranians. There, there are like, things about Iranian poetry that uh, some of the poets, their poems are not easily understood by all the Iranians, so you should be familiar with the language. But Ferdowsi is very easy because uh, the language, not the words, mm -hmm. there must be very old words, but the language, the way he talks is very simple. He speaks simply and from the heart. And of course, because the stories of his book is so great, so it keeps you on, you know, so you cannot leave on, so you have to listen and you understand it very well. So there you have it. The Mausoleum of Ferdowsi. Yes, we've been spending a really lovely evening here watching the sun go down, paying our respects to one of Iran's great poets, reading his poetry, and just relaxing and enjoying the beautiful ambience. And this is gonna be how we're gonna finish this episode of Iran Travel Guide. Yeah, there's really no way we could think of doing it better. It's been great to have you with us. We're gonna continue here in Iran Travel Guide to show you around the country, taking you to some of the interesting sites to whet your appetite for a trip here in the future. Stay tuned with Iran Travel Guide from Iran. Thank you and good night. Take care.